Three-year-old Pacey Colts are lined up for the fifth race, the richest Matt Scooter final ever, $100,000. Race five, here they come. Off the gate there, Heavenly Favored, and Capital Power fires up, but so does Picnic in the park. Iron Priceless shows speed on the inside into the first turn. It's Dubé. Picnic in the park right to the lead. Capital Power up on the outside. A challenge for Miller as they head to the quarter. I'm Priceless settles in third. Then it's two lengths to McNally in the fourth spot. As uh, on the outside, that's Sonny and Matt up to Tucky in fifth past the quarter mile. A Hard Day's Life is sixth. That one followed by Paradise Lover Boy. Then it's Supernatural. Next to last is Heavenly Favored. And the trailer is Primetime Hanover. 27 4 down the back stretch. The favorite Capital Power. 4 for 4. And Miller's got him up front. In control here. It's Picnic in the Park riding the two hole with I'm Priceless third. McNally looks at it from fourth. Sonny and Matt edges to the outside. Brennan charges up with that one. A hard day's life picks up the cover. Then comes a Paradise Lover Boy, Supernatural, Heavenly Favored next to last, and Sonny and Matt. Or rather, Primetime Hanover is the trailer. 27 and 4, half 56 onto the far turn. Capital Power continues to lead it. Right on the helmet is a picnic in the park. A perfect trip for that one. First over, Sonny and Matt now third on the outside. But uh, he is retreating now. I'm Priceless, uh, third on the rail. And uh, now a hard day's life will be locked in on the inside. That's uh, on the outside, Paradise Loverboy and Pierce swinging three wide around the tiring Sonny and Matt over three quarters in 124 and one. It's Capital Power put to whip, urging stalked all the way by Picnic in the park on the outside and Dubé's clear and driving at him. Capital Power looking in, Picnic in the park appears to be getting to him. They swung it up to the wire. But then it's I'm Priceless and Pierce on the outside with Paradise Loverboy. Capital Power digs in. Capital Power showing guts on the outside, Paradise Loverboy. But a very tight photo finish with Paradise Loverboy, 153 and 1. Up photo. Well, Capital Power shows some grit and determination tonight. A $37,000 yearling purchase by owners Dina Frost and Lou Damiano at the Harrisburg sale. A late bloomer, indeed. Eligible to all the big ones, the Berries Creek, and of course the July 14th Meadowlands Pace, Dave Miller with his fourth series final of the season so far. Capital Power, a three-year-old by the Dual Hemisphere Stallion Presidential Ball out of Candy Apple Red by Jate Lobel. Chris Ryder, the trainer, Dina Frost, Sampson Street Stables, the owners, and David Miller with Capital Power undefeated, five for five, and the sweep of the Matt Scooter Series after sweeping the uh, Junior Trendsetter Series. Post time for the 6th in 15 minutes at 9.17. It's the overbid final for $150,000. Exacta trifecta pick 3, 6, 7, and 8. There are no changes. Race 7, scratch 10, Ribbon Man, sick. Race 8, the Sumac Lad, scratch 5, Classic Model, sick. Making our Winter Circle presentation, Mike Romanelli. Welcome to the Big M, Mike Romanelli. We're joined in the Winter Circle by the winning connections here, the Matt Scooter Final, Capital Power, driver Dave Miller. Dave, coming into the race, any concerns at all? Uh, well, not really. I just didn't want to get caught up in a, uh, you know, any type of a speed duel or uh, you know, end up getting in a bad spot. I just want to keep him in the clear and get him to the lead as quick as I could and easy as I could. He's been so dominant in all his races here. Tell us about the last quarter of the mile here. Uh, tonight he uh, was just a little, uh, little, little tired at the end there. I don't know if it was the week off or, uh, or exactly what was going on, but uh, he, he's been tremendous. I mean, uh, you can't say enough about him. He's just a great horse. Is it possible he's, is he better on or off the pace? Any difference? It hey, don't really make no difference. He seems to handle each way either way just fine. Okay, trainer Chris Ryder. Chris, 
has anybody said this horse might be peaking a little bit too early? He's been dominant almost every start. Now he's five for five. Uh, what, what's the story with that? Yeah, I've been told that. Uh, I have been told that. So uh, it's just gonna, it's my job to try and get him to ba you know, back off a little now and peak later on. What about uh, the people who see there's no races at two, as a two-year-old? What was the reason for that? Yeah, he, um, you know, he just wasn't doing things right as a two-year-old, and we just decided to leave him alone until now. You know, to try and make him, bring him back in the winter time here, and and he's just come along super. So. Okay, what about uh, take us into the deep stretch here? You're watching the race. What were you thinking there in the final hundred yards? Well, you know, I was watching those guys come at him. I, was, I thought it was Ronnie Pierce, was it? Finished third. I thought he was almost going to get him, and uh, you know, I, obviously, it's just playing for the wire. And um, you know, he he looked a little. Uh, he didn't look as sharp as he as, as he's been. I think we're going to all see that, and um, they got to him, you know, early in the stretch, and I was just pleased he showed a little gameness. What, what's up next for him? Well, we stop with him now, and we're going to have him ready for the Berries Creek. Metal as pace in the, in the plans? Yes, yes. Okay, thanks to Chris Ryder, thanks to Dave Miller, the Connections, Dina Frost, Samson Street, winners, the Mascuda Final, Capital Power, now 5 for 5.